All of Nike the measures. Woman. Come on, look, Cayman is COVID free. Nobody wear masks. Listen, I can't walk around without the mask. That's time for me. Like, come on, why would we not want to implement this in other countries? It's the perfect thing that they do. And this is my friend Danielle. Hi guys. AKA Den Den. Yes. And her daughter. What's her name? Gabriella Ratcliffe. Yes, Gabriella Ratcliffe. <laughs> so guys, um, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, today we're gonna be talking about visiting Cayman Islands mm -hmm. during the pandemic, what it is like, all of the works, guys. I know that Obi and I we spoke <laughs> about, you know, visiting. <laughs> And traveling to Cayman but today guys we have a one-on-one -on -one interview first and knowledge about what it is like at visiting the Cayman Islands guys we're also going to be talking about our quarantine experience and what it was like guys authorities showed up at our house so guys if you have not yet subscribed please hit that subscription button down below please like up the video share comment and subscribe subscribe <laughs> <laughs> let's get straight into it um so daniel yeah. um is this the first time visiting the cayman islands no the last time i came here was in 1999 i was a little girl okay. so i don't really remember much but mm -hmm. I've been here before. Okay, nice. So um, then, um, was this experience any different from visiting anywhere else before the pandemic? What did you have to do um, before something. before coming here? Before coming to the Cayman Islands. Okay, Island. so firstly, what do you want to see? It's the first time I meet here. Okay. Oh yes, and it's the first time that Gabrielle is coming here. Yes. Good girl. Sorry, I forget about you. All right, so firstly, what I had to do was to apply for a travel authorization mm -hmm. on the Travel Cayman website. Mm -hmm. That's the very first step mm -hmm. to apply for authorization. So it's going to ask you the reason why you want to come here. So I guess you have to have a good reason to come. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, before you even attempt to apply for that, you have to ensure that you have somewhere to stay. To, to quarantine when you come. Mm -hmm. So that was the next thing I had to think about. Somewhere to stay first. Once I get that um, authorization. authorization of somewhere to stay, then I go and apply. So when I applied, you know, you have to enter all the information on your passport. Mm -hmm. Of course, where you're going to stay and also how long you're going to stay here for. Mm -hmm. If you if I was planning to stay here less than 14 days, I, it would not be approved. Mm -hmm. Because you have to be in quarantine for 14, 14 days. You cannot go anywhere. You probably can't even go on the balcony, but maybe you can go on the balcony. <laughs> so when you're applying as well, it's going to ask you where you're going to take the flight from. Mm -hmm. And and right now, at it is, you can only take Cayman Airways. There's no other flights coming into the country. Mm -hmm. So it's asking you where you're gonna take the flight from. And the quarantine location, if anybody else is gonna be in quarantine with you. So if there was anybody else at that location, those persons would have to be quarantined have for 14 Have to be quarantined days. as well. So yeah. how long did it take though for, for you to get authorization? I applied one month, exactly one month before my intended travel date. Mm -hmm. Do not go and purchase your ticket it's before you get the authorization. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get the authorization from Travel Cayman before you go and purchase it. Oh, one cool. week before, <laughs> they emailed me to say that Please go ahead and purchase your ticket. After you have done that, we will send you the authorization. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, actually, that probably was a pre-authorization. Yeah, it was like a pre. Mm -hmm. to... Yeah, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. So then, right away, the same night, I purchased the ticket. I send the ticket to them, and then the following day or the day after, then they send me the authorization. So when I got that, I know that okay, time for COVID test. So you know that COVID test has to be 72 hours prior to the travel date. Was it the so, first time doing a, a COVID, COVID test? test? Um, yes. 
Oh, also what I did, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, Cayman, their requirement is a PCR test, yeah. which is different from the antigen. Antigen is the rapid test. Mm -hmm. PCR is the... One they push it all the way back and they go like, this up in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so it's more expensive. PCR is more expensive than antigen. Mm -hmm. So what I did to be on the safe side, um, when they sent me the authorization, like the next day, I went and I did that antigen t antigen test mm -hmm. to ensure that I'm COVID free because okay. it wouldn't make no sense. I waste some money and go do the PCR then to find out that it's positive. Very and, smart. Yes. So I just go do the antigen to make sure I don't have it. So I was like, okay, if I don't have it on the antigen, hopefully the PCR will also say negative. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that was that. Mm -hmm. So then, mm -hmm. what, two, two days before the travel dates, I did my PCR test. It, was, it wasn't required for her because she is oh, under 10. Well. Under 10. 10? Okay. Yeah. It wasn't required for her, but for me and my spouse, yes, we had to do it. Mm -hmm. Initially, you know, I thought only friends, sorry, only family members mm -hmm. could actually come over to the Cayman Islands. I didn't oh, know that friends, friends. can come yeah. as well. Yeah, friends can. Oh, there was like a listing to show like who am I to Cayman. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm a visitor, mm -hmm. if I'm a friend of a resident, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So visitor was there. So it means that they're allowing visitors to come okay. because visitor was a part of the listing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So was the accommodation, was it very empty? Was it pricey? <laughs> yes. Right. Go ahead. I missed, I always wanted to go to Cayman and now I'm at Cayman. <laughs> and now I like Cayman and I want to stay here forever. Ooh. Me want to stay too because it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Tell me what it was like actually arriving in the Cayman Islands or what was the ne next step did they just grab your bag I just oh, like that way okay all right so before you even check in may I see your PCR test results please okay or no them say may I see your COVID test results please that's mm -hmm. the first thing so you wouldn't dare to go and check in without showing without your test, the, the test so yeah off. your check was checked off mm -hmm. hand them my phone they check my test everything was fine went and check in so yeah, you check in, you go on the plane. It was normal, normal boarding, mm -hmm. not special. Oh, the oh mask, you have to wear a mask for the entire time in the on flight. The plane. So when you actually landed <coughs> in Cayman, so now what happened? Um, when we got to Cayman, mm -hmm. um, we head directly to the processing area for. They give you your phone, the tracker phone, the tracker armband, mm -hmm. right? That was in a package. Armband, so it's not an anchor bracelet. Guys. No, it's an armband, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they give you that with the phone in a package. <clears throat> um, after we get that package, we move straight to immigration, right? Um, when we were at immigration, we had to show our COVID test again. After immigration, you go straight to take a COVID test. So. When we were walking towards the area to take the test, they were like, oh, holy she, oh, holy she. Because the thing said, under 10, don't have to take it. Mm -hmm. I was like, she's four. Mm -hmm. Then they're like, oh, well, she had to do the test. So, yes, it was me, my spouse, mm -hmm. and my daughter who had to do the PCR test, which, you know, is very harsh. Because mm -hmm. they go way back with the PCR I didn't test. know that it was required to offer her to do the test. Yeah, when she arrived here. So, so yeah, we did the test. Um, we didn't get the results right away, but anyhow, we moved straight along to get our baggage. We, got, we collected our baggage, went straight to customs. After that, no, um, we went straight to, there were some people waiting. Oh, we had to, there was a taxi that was waiting for us. So wherever we were staying at the Airbnb, they arranged for a taxi to come pick us up. That's nice. Yeah. They arranged for the taxi to come pick us up, so the taxi was out there waiting. So we went straight into the taxi, right? Straight to where we were quarantining. And when we got to the quarantine residence, we had to immediately put on the armband mm -hmm. and check in on the phone and to say that we have arrived at the residence and this is where we're going to be staying so they can know say when they are track we, we're in the location that we checked in at. So did the authorities actually contacted you during the 14 days? Then the mass 
like oh often them, oh often though like was it every daily? day every day what they do they no, call you all right let me not exaggerate mm -hmm. so so um so yeah so when we mm -hmm. arrived the first day right we checked in <clears throat> and um, the following day they came to visit in the morning they visit on the following right. day them no play right. so when we came when they came in the morning they're like you know they're just making checks to make sure that we're fine to make sure that the thing is working with. you know you know i like the armband they put the armband on our hands at the airport <laughs> i missed that part it's not we put it on ourselves okay. it's when we're at the airport they put it on but we had to check in with the phone and we reach home mm -hmm. so yeah correction on that part so the following day after checking in they actually they came, came to the house and after that they call you um, on a daily? yeah no not really daily um so for example oh. your phone the tracker phone has to be in your in the room that you're in mm -hmm. wherever you are in the house the phone has to be nearby so one day i was downstairs in the computer room and the phone was upstairs in the bedroom so i was down there for a while all of a sudden i hear the phone ringing this was this was like three days after i reached here mm -hmm. when i when i answered the phone they're like oh this is travel okay, man we got we got an alert that you were not nearby the phone oh man i was oh like my. seriously well, i'm in the same house <laughs> He's like, well, it has to be in the same room with you at all. There's one more thing I forgot to mention that the lady that was quarantining with us, um, so there was this part in her armband that was sticking out, so she, like, she keep bending it on not to come out of her way. Mm -hmm. So apparently her bending it, like it trigger off like a signal to them to say that she's tampering with the device, the new one. And this was like three days before we come out of quarantine. So them waste money, come give us a new device. Now for sure how serious they are. Mm -hmm. Like they are serious. This was like three or four days before we actually come out this happened. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so you can't tamper with their device. You get in well you wouldn't get in trouble, but they're gonna come for you. They're gonna come for you. <laughs> How long then the tech though? To reach. To reach? Yeah. When they the, from the time they called. They house. were already coming to the house. Hello. They were already on their way because when I answer the phone, they're like, can you direct me to the house? Mm -hmm. Because we can't find it. Because where we're staying, the number is not on the gate. Mm -hmm. So I had to direct them. They were there already looking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so people, they don't want to eat them and trying to come back in. <laughs> For the 14 days that I stayed there, they came by three times. Yeah. That's three a lot times. of visit. And they called a good amount of time. So yeah. Seriously, I didn't know that they were so stringent. Yes, like, I was seriously. amazed. I didn't know that. I was amazed. So, what was quarantining like for the 14 days? Did it feel like they had go mad at the no, point in time? I did not feel that way because honestly, you know, say a big space makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Our house was it's it's big big and nice it's big so the feel it's, right. yes so but if you were in a small enclosed for example what if i was in a hotel room for those 14 days i would go crazy we were mm. fine and and then i work from home too so that keep it keep me occupied my my daughter do, does online schooling you know so we were fine we just had to cook and whatever it, it sounds <laughs> like a mini vacation it's, it's, it's just is. um quarantine yes, guys so would you recommend um other persons to visit Kim and during the pandemic um of course or Why is not? it too expensive do you think that probably uh, too expensive can any and anybody um no okay i forgot to mention the grocery park because i know you guys are wondering so how i buy food mm -hmm. um so we came here for a wedding so of course we arranged with the person to say you know go put groceries in the house first for us mm -hmm. so when we got there groceries was already there oh that's nice but if that wasn't the case we could have ordered it online and then they would deliver it so, um it was i would i would recommend people to come here during the pandemic like because why oh, thank you. um after everything you're you're free to go about your business you're fine and dandy oh um also as well um on the 14th day no, the 13th day, mm -hmm. they called us to say that you're gonna do a COVID test on the 15th day. 
so your appointment is xyz and if you need a taxi let us know so so you had to leave the quarantine facility and i, the, I mm -hmm. really thought that they came no to you or? no we had to leave they they sent the taxi because we told them that we needed a taxi on the 15th day they sent the taxi in the morning because mm -hmm. our appointment was eight o'clock so they sent the taxi taxi pick us up take us to wherever it was we did the test Mm -hmm. yes. And how long did it take for you to get back the results? I thought that we were gonna get an email with the results on the 15th day, but mm -hmm. like, so we did this at 8 o'clock. So by 2 o'clock or after 3, thereabout, they called us on the checker phone and said, Your COVID test is negative, mm -hmm. you're free to go. Just cut off the armband. Um, deliver. You can take the armband and the phone to a specific location mm -hmm. to drop it off. You know, it never had to be the same day. So, do you think that the measures put in place are too stringent? Yeah. Do you think that other countries, for example, yeah. Jamaica, mm -hmm. should you know implement some yeah. of the measures? All of like the measures. Cayman. Come on, look, Cayman is COVID free. Nobody wear mask. Listen, I can't walk around <laughs> without the mask. I stifle me. Like, come on, why would we not want to implement this in other countries? It's the perfect thing that they do. Do you think that secure. Jamaicans, though, would abide? abide? Like, seriously. Well, the thing is, no, you see, if there were repercussions against the people in Jamaica, then they would have to abide by whatever is implemented, don't it? Because if I was to there, leave that quarantine residence um, the other day, mm -hmm. they would have come for me. I'll be in jail. Because and I will be slapped with a what, how much in fine? Ten thousand. Yeah. So Daniel, thank you so so much for joining. You know, we are young family, me alone. But you know, it has been a pleasure, yes. and this has been so insightful. <laughs> it's one thing to read, uh -huh. you know, online, but actually hearing about your experience and some of the measures, the authorities actually visiting and all of that. Yep. We don't get that online, yeah. so you know, it's very, very insightful. So, thank you so much, Lenny. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well, so, it was such a good experience being on camera. So, guys, thank you so much once more for tuning mm. in. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>